Hi guys, uh, it's Steve from nixintel.info. Um, I normally blog about stuff to do with open source intelligence and um, geolocation and photo verification ch challenges, uh, but sometimes it's better to see things than to read things. And um, what I want to do um, in this short video is show off a really good tool that I've come across re uh, recently. Um, now, uh, it's called Search by Image, but I'll talk about it in a real short while. But um, those of you who are interested in uh, open source investigation and photo verification, um, you've probably heard of um, the Quiz Time Challenges, which are a series of daily quizzes, where which I really enjoy doing. Actually, there's some really good guys that take part, and it's a really nice community of people. Um, but yeah, there's there's usually a daily photo challenge, uh, which will involve having to usually find um, a location and photograph and then answer a few questions about it. Um, now one of the key tools, one of the key methods um, for uh, finding a location is to use reverse image search. Um, it's sometimes a bit of a quick hit, uh, though sometimes it causes more confusion than anything else. But uh, what I want to demonstrate with um, search by image um, is how it will let you, it has got has a little bit more functionality than most reverse image search tools. You can search across a lot of different engines and you can search just part of an image uh, or you can upload an image and when you're doing this a lot or you're doing it very quickly, uh, being able to work smoothly and quickly is really important and I'll show you um, in a moment just how, how quick this can make some of the photo challenges. Um, so just very briefly about search by image, it's a free tool which is um, pretty good really um, because um, I'm, I'm surprised it's free because it's um, well it's quite simple, it's very effective, uh, it's really smart, it's really stable uh, and of course you can support the developer uh, through PayPal or Patreon or Bitcoin. Uh, it comes as an add-on for Chrome browser or for Firefox or for Opera. In this example I'm using it in um, Firefox, although I've, I've used it in Chrome as well and it works fine, it's, it's just the same. Uh, but what does it do? Um, well, it's got quite a wide range of um, different um, reverse image tools built into it um, and it's basically taken a lot of tools that would have been available separately and combined them all into one really easy smooth um, add-on. So you, what might have taken you sort of like two or three minutes you can get done in just a few seconds um, by um, by using the tool. Um, but again, yeah, it's always better to see something rather than just listen to me talk about it. So I'm going to show you um, how quickly it can uh, help solve uh, photo verification challenges. Of course, the, these quizzes are just uh, there for fun and they're for learning. Uh, but you can apply this in real life stuff as well if, um, if your work involves um, geolocation. Our photo verification. Um, so here the quiz we're going to look at is um, quite a recent one. It's only a couple of weeks old. Um, this is from Yulia Bayer. Yulia is uh, the founder of QuizTime, and she posts a quiz uh, pretty much every Monday. And this is one she posted recently on June the 17th. Um, so it's this picture here of an elephant on the side of a building, um, and uh, it's covered in scaffolding. So, um, as always with any quiz time challenge or any Twitter image that you're looking at, uh, we just we don't want all this guff around the bottom. We just want uh, to view the image itself, um, and it's actually quite a good resolution. Um, whilst I'm here, I'll show you. There's a, a neat little trick sometimes. Um, sometimes if people upload really high resolution, high quality images to Twitter, Twitter compresses them slightly, and you don't get the full quality. Uh, but you can actually tweak the URL here a little bit, and you see at the end where it's a pen uh, after the JPEG extension. It's uh, this colon large here. If you change large to org for original, you get an image in its original resolution, which in this case um, it already was uh, in a large resolution. But sometimes um, you can you can get a lot of extra detail uh, by searching, uh, but just by tweaking the URL this way, um, you can work with a much higher quality image. And when you need to bring out a lot of fine detail in a photo, that really matters. So what I'll do, like any reverse image search. Uh, we'll just right click, um, we can search across all search engines. By default, you've got Google, Bing, Yandex, Baidu, and TinEye. TinEye, people still push it as a reverse image search tool. I have no idea why. Um, it, the way it works, you very rarely get matched on things. I think all the times I've used TinEye, I've maybe got um, I don't know, two or three hits. It, it's not really a very effective tool. Uh, Baidu is available as an option, uh, though it's not particularly good. In for Visual similarity, Yandex is by far the best reverse image search tool I think these days. Uh, but we'll search all of them just to see what comes up. Um, so yeah, what we get 
uh, from Google because of all the scaffolding in the picture um, all the visually similar images we're getting are of scaffolding uh, and that's no good to us we're not we want to focus just on what's distinctive and uh, to that photo which is the elephant uh, and this yeah the scaffolding doesn't really help Let's see if Bing does any better no we get more scaffolding uh, again with Bing because that where's the computer sees the image uh, that's what's prominent and uh, so yeah we know some no elephant there and with the index it's exactly the same uh, Baidu has timed out um, yeah we're not going to uh, expend too much time on Baidu and Tinai surprise surprise uh, no hits okay so that wasn't really very successful uh, but what what you could do or, or what I'm going to do is to select just the details in the image that you want to focus on in this case the most distinctive thing um, I guess we've got um, obviously the elephant is the main thing uh, we've also got some scaffolding information here you can see the name of the scaffolding company and you might be able to work through there you could do that um, I think a couple of people did solve the quiz that way um, the issue I don't with, when you're using reverse image things on think things that are temporary uh, makes it very difficult I mean how long is that scaffolding there for we don't know it probably is it's only a temporary feature um, so a lot of the image you might find at this location won't feature scaffolding and it really reduces your chances of a successful reverse image search match although of course you could look into the scaffolding companies see where they've been and things like that and where do they work and you could find the location that way um, but it doesn't work so well when you're using reverse image as a search method so we will fire up search by image and then we've got this menu here on the right and there's a few different options uh, what you do you choose your option uh, then you choose your search engine and then you do the actual search so we'll start we want to capture um, just the detail of the elephant here because that's what's probably what's most interesting and we'll try and cut out some of the scaffolding which is creating a lot of noise so we go to capture and we'll just choose Yandex as a search engine uh, so we get our little crosshairs here and we'll see uh, yeah that should be enough and we'll see we'll search now we're only searching a part of an image does that change the result we get let's have a look okay we've certainly got some different results let's get similar images and here we go there is an elephant here that looks really familiar um, in fact you can see with the details of the red brick building in the background and the guy sat on top of the elephant this is probably our elephant um, now we didn't find that the first time we did a reverse image search because we were searching for, across the whole image what search by images allowed us to do is just focus on what particular area uh, and already we've got hit uh, you could have done this without reverse image uh, without search by image of course but then you have to sort of manually um, chop an image with snipping tool or, or something similar uh, and it's time consuming but when you're doing this and you want to do it quickly um, it's all integrated and it's just two or three mouse cl clicks with search by image uh, which is why it's a great tool um, so yeah here is our elephant um, so quite happy we found the elephant but that still doesn't tell us where this is so let's have a look at this article which unfortunately is all in Russian uh, now I don't speak any Russian I can't read Russian uh, if I was doing this in Chrome there would be a translate option um, I can always in, I'm in Firefox so I don't have that automatic option um, but we'll see if we can do something anyway because um, what this article tells us um, is um, whoever whoever really likes this elephant we have got another picture of it here um, it's all the same building and we've actually got an address here uh, it says uh, I think Holstenwall you have to excuse my German it's terrible the Holsten wall I guess we'd say in English uh, the Holsten wall here um, so we've actually got an address for this building now so it shouldn't be too hard to find hopefully so we're looking for the Holsten wall numbers one to nine Oh, there we go. Google's already telling us that that is in Hamburg. I think Holsten is Holsten Holstein is the area where Hamburg is. I think someone will correct me if I'm wrong. So Holsten Vol one to nine Hamburg. There we go. And ta-da! Here we go. So we've got the map view. You see some of the photos here on the left um, look very very similar. There's no elephant there yet, um, but look very very similar to the building we looked at in the picture. And we'll switch to satellite view uh, and. Oh, let's go 3D. How exciting is that? Uh, you feel like you're doing something really cool when you do this. Um, so this is Holston Wall number one to nine. So to get a really close look, we have the option of Street View, which is quite lucky here because actually in Germany, uh, a lot of Germany isn't covered by Street View. 
and this bit is but I can't see any elephants on this side uh, there's some sort of some statues made of the same material there uh, but nothing here so let's go and have a look around this side of the building oh dear there's no elephants there either so let's come out in a bit and we'll look down the other side of the building we can see around the we've seen around the front see around that side so hopefully with a bit of luck there should be an elephant and there's a man and here's our elephant on the side of the building so this now tells us let's just compare it to the original image there we go you see where Julia stood when she took the picture uh, she was stood the other side where we are she stood I guess round about where this red car is uh, when she took the picture and there's our match so um, okay I, this has only taken a few minutes um, but and of course I've done this challenge before when I did it the first time for real um, but really um, using um, search by image made a massive difference just by having that ability to focus on one part of an image bring out the detail and just search on that detail uh, and it brought us here really really quickly uh, so yeah <clears throat> that's search by image um, I'll put in the um, in the text at the end of it at the bottom of the screen I'll put some links to where you can download it from and I'll put some links to quiz time as well because if you are into quiz time if you're into photo verification and geolocation and stuff and it's just a bit fun um, to brush up your OSINT skills but uh, yeah it's a really really good um, fun community to be part of and you'll learn a lot by doing it as well uh, and I hope that you've learned something from this video too thanks